know. This is Rio Tikida Dunas. Literally just checked in. This is the reception. That's where you check in. Because of my medicine, you know? Yeah. You know? You know? I got this. You know? Yeah. from the main reception this is the Moroccan restaurant Ooh. I think it opens at 7 till 9 or 7 till 10 and obviously next to that is the main restaurant So this is your view once you leave reception. Check that backdrop out. That has got to be up there. It's one of the best ones we've seen. Got the pool. I really need to know the name of that hill mountain thing. Over there, you got the bar, and then that's you know the reception there. We come out. That is one of the restaurants. I think everything's um, buffet style. I think that one you don't need any reservations. Just turn up between seven and nine. Again, straight ahead of us, that is where you have breakfast and a lunch as well, I believe. I mean, it is lunch time now. So yeah, breakfast and lunch is in that place there. There's a little bar just to the right of that. There's another little bar down there by the pool. And just below us, just can't see just down these steps, you've got an Asian restaurant which you need to book every night. You have to do that literally when you wake up. It does um, get full up quite quick. And this is the main bar. And behind this restaurant, there is a Moroccan style restaurant. Again, you need to book that one as well. Once you ring up, just I don't know, there's a stupid app or just phone reception and say I want to book that restaurant and then they just put you down for it. Again, all the restaurants are buffet style and to be totally honest, they're not you know, anything amazing but they just about do the job. They do some cracking virgin mojitos here. Great view, nice drink. Enjoy. The 
This is one of the bars. You can pick up drinks and stuff. Go sit under that gazebo. You got a sea view back there. Put the pool back here. And over there, I think it's that one. That's the main bar. There's another bar just underneath there. There's a restaurant somewhere back there for evening meals. There's another restaurant somewhere back down this way. And I think that's everything covered. There's a kids club somewhere back there. All, all the activities are here. Obviously, beaches that way. Uh, have I missed anything out? That's the Fountain Bar Show. Indoor pools there. Gyms behind there. The spa is just to the left of that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much most of the grounds covered. Obviously, reception is behind the bar. So we're about to enter our room. It's on ground floor. Room 5010. The sea view. Let's go in and check it out. Where is this a little wardrobe? After. Let's check out the bathroom. Ah, the safe is in here. A double standard room with this sea view. Okay, so we have a little bed over there for our little one. Out there is the balcony. from our little balcony thing in our sea view room. That is a view in our plus we can just step out whenever we want. One thing about this hotel, they have tons of security. Like there's a chap just there on the left. So no one from the beach can just wander in. And normally there's someone else stationed about there and then they're literally all along the perimeter. This just come out and see the sea view. And the mountain. We're off to have lunch. So in this bit here, this is where you can find breakfast, also lunch, and I think just after lunch they do snacks for a couple of hours. Uh, I do try to record for breakfast but it is so busy you can't even walk, especially if you come more closer to the 10 o'clock time. So yeah, obviously this is just the uh, 
snack portion of the day so there's not really much options but there you got your drinks on tap i think there is alcohol also available somewhere back there juices uh, eggs and stuff omelets somewhere back there bread station is normally about here no point recording breakfast and lunch i mean this yeah this is what you're gonna get it's quite big goes all the way back there and there's outside seating as well So this is a restaurant for breakfast and a lunch. So this is the view of Rui Tikida Dunas from the beach. Take my shades off so I can see properly. It's proper sunny today. It is uh, November 28 or 29. My baby's having a little tantrum. So if you wanted to walk all the way down to the marina, which is there is somewhere. It'll take you about 45 minutes, or well, that's what it did with us with a stroller. And we did stop, so if you would walk fast, maybe you'll do it in half an hour. And this is the uh, hotel complex view, so you can use that exit or entrance you want to call it. And they have pretty decent security, that is also part of the hotel. That's where you have breakfast, and it goes all the way back there somewhere. And yeah, it's a pretty decent view back here. Got a lovely beach. This is the end of the complex going this way. Got some cool sea view rooms there. And you get some nice view of some mountains that way. And then obviously that's Agadir. A tiny swimming pool for the little ones. Kids club. And then there's a little kids playground. Something to do with art. People are playing there. I think they're playing shot put or something. Beautiful skies even though it's late, late November. Easily like 28, 27 degrees today. That is where we were a few seconds ago. Okay, there's a wee tennis court back here. I believe these are just standard non CV rooms. Right, that should, I believe, lead to reception. So if you follow this, that should lead to the reception. I think. And that is like the main entrance where you would get dropped off by taxis and coaches. Should lead to the pool area.
So if you're staying at the Rio, Tequila Dunes, if you take a right out of the hotel, it's about a five minute walk and you'll come up to this place. That leads to the beach. You've got Prada shops, little suits. There is a money exchange here and a few other bits, restaurants, and I don't know where that leads to. But yeah, this is literally five minutes walk. And along the way, there's um, a few more shops and stuff that way, barbers, and uh, plenty of souvenir guys. Yeah, I thought I'd just add this in. Literally, it is just a five minute walk to come here.